Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'm going to show you how to make mustard pickled eggs. They may sound strange to those of y'all who have never tried them before, but if you like egg salad or the taste of deviled eggs, you're going to absolutely love this recipe. Getting right to it, you'll need a large glass container with a lid that can hold at least a dozen eggs, if not more. My extra large jar here has four dozen boiled eggs in it because we clearly have a pickled egg problem in our house. But work with what you feel comfortable with and fill your jar three quarters of the way with hard boiled eggs and layer in a thinly sliced medium onion. Once you're done filling the jar with eggs, set it aside and now let's work on building the brine. In a medium sized pot, add four cups of water, one cup of white vinegar, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of whole peppercorns, one tablespoon of mustard powder, two teaspoons of turmeric, and finally three quarters of a cup of mustard. I use regular yellow mustard this time because it's all I had on hand, but you're welcome to try out a fancier stone ground mustard or maybe a spicy mustard if you want to mess around with it a bit. Give everything a quick stir, starting to combine the ingredients, but then go ahead and move the pot to your stove and bring it up to a brief one or two minute boil while still stirring to ensure everything is really properly mixed. After boiling the mixture and then letting it cool back down to room temperature, pour the brine over your eggs until they are completely covered. Here's a helpful tip to make sure you're making enough brine. Fill your jar with eggs at the beginning and then measure out how much water it takes to cover them. This brine recipe makes about six cups of liquid, so if it takes more water than that to cover your eggs, you'll have to double the brine recipe or take a few eggs out, whichever one's easier for you. Once you've added your brine, now it's just a matter of time and patience. Place the jar in your refrigerator and let those eggs soak for at least seven, if not 10 days before trying one. If stored properly inside a refrigerator, these pickled eggs should last three to four months, if not much longer. Just use your best judgment. If you notice a change in texture, smell, or color, it's probably time to make a new batch. Once you pass the seven to 10 day soaking period, dive in and enjoy. These mustard eggs are great on their own as a quick protein snack, or add them to a charcuterie board for a pop of color and flavor. You can even use them in recipes that call for regular boiled eggs to see how this unique flavor profile interacts with the dish. There's a lot of room to run here, and let me know in the comments below what you end up doing with yours. That'll do it for this one, and thank you all so much for watching. I'm always happy to hear from my viewers, so please feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, it means the world to me, and you'll have access to countless recipes with more content to come. All right, y'all, take care.